I personally don't think I have a good color sense at the first beginning because I don't have any color theory. I pretty much self-taught. I pick out colors that I like the most and then start drawing from the beginning when I was like 13, 14. So um, I start to build up um, my own favorite color swatches during that time. And now I still use a similar color palette, which is uh, interesting. I got a lot of people ask me the same question. How do I improve my um, color sense? Um, how do I uh, pick the right color? Um, how do I know I picked the right color? Um, and then the answer is, no, I don't know, uh, because everyone has their own color sense and it's quite different. If you're struggling a lot on picking out the right color um, for your illustration, I highly recommend you try limited color palette method. This method, I personally love it and then I use it um, because I started learning um, screen printing method. So that means I only get to use uh, three to five colors per illustration so that it's easier for them to print it out uh, or for me to, to, to make the real print. And today we're going to use only three colors and then it's, very, it's three very basic colors, red, blue, and yellow. As you see, the sketch layer is here already. And then what I'm going to do is add one more layer and then let's go into the colors. So right now I'm going to just pick out my favorite red. So the ring on the, on the color ring is you pick out the general color. Like you want this red, you want a little bit purplish red or orangish black, uh, red. You kind of see it immediately. And then after you pick out this color, you go into the middle square and then it has like different diversity of the same red with lighter and darker so i will just like move it to the left a little bit because i kind of want to mix watermelon kind of red uh, a little bit white pastel red so just move a little bit and you can adjust by doing this so Let's see the red. Hmm, it's good. So the red is settled. If you want to get it back, it's already over here. It's under recent. So the red is saved. And then let's pick out a blue. So I like this kind of blue, maybe a little bit green, towards the green, yes. And then the same volume, not so bright. Uh, I will not choose it, uh, change it. It's perfect. Yeah, this is the blue, blue I really like. And then you have it already. And then let's choose the yellow. My favorite yellow is not so lemonade color. It's always a little bit orange, towards orange and less vibrant. Because yellow can be a little bit too overwhelmed sometimes. It's so bright. Now you have it, the three colors you like. There are millions of combinations you can play with with this method. And then you can even add to four colors, five colors to eight colors. And then for me, um, the most important thing is to build up your own color palette, to build up your own color collection so that now I kind of know which two colors put together is beautiful than the other combination. So uh, you have to practice and try, try it out all over over time. And then also try to um, save your own swatch for your drawing um, process. When you are doing a series of illustration, always use that red, always use that orange, and it will give your um, series of illustrations a kind of consistency. Even if you don't draw the same stuff, they looks like they belong to each other. That's how powerful Limit Color Palette is.